Was geht? Menachem, Fega, Esther, Sima, Yisraelik, Levik, Yosef Meir, Mendel, and Nina. Yes, my friends. These are all the 10 children that my wife Nechama and I are blessed with. People tell me, Rabbi, you're crazy. 10 kids? What are you thinking? It's a good question. You know, Judaism puts such a big emphasis on having large families. Do you know why? It's very simple. Most people worry about the fact that the world doesn't have the resources to support so many children. Rabbi, the world can't support that many kids. But that's a big mistake. Because how do we look at our children? Are we just consumers and takers? Or are we contributors and givers? Every single human being who lives in this world is changing the world. Every one of us is unique. There may be seven billion people in the world, but no two are alike. Every one of us has a specific goal, mission, and purpose that we need to fulfill. How do I know? Because otherwise you wouldn't be here. The very fact that you're alive and you woke up this morning is a sign that God has a place in this world that he needs you to impact. This week's Torah portion tells us about Jacob and his descendants. The Jewish people kept on multiplying and growing and growing. Hundreds of thousands, millions of Jews. But here's what's amazing. Even while the Jewish family grew so much, what is the name of the portion? Shemot, which means names. Every single Jewish child has a unique name. Every person in this world has a special name. Your name is your IP address, which indicates that you are special and you are unique. The verse tells us that God made millions of stars. He has a name for each individual one. Remember, you are indispensable. You are special. You are unique. I think of my 10 children, and every single one of them is literally changing the world. Go out there, my friends. Change the world. Recognize the power of your name. And keep shining. Shabbat Shalom.